Hello, my friend, and welcome to TFU News and Views. I'm your host, Anthony Brucalli, owner, operator, webmaster of TFU.info. And today is Sunday. It's the weekend, and I figured good time for us to go a little off topic, but not too far off topic. So today, I'm not going to talk uh, about Transformers, uh, though I may mention a few things here and there. But we're going to talk Toy Fair but not Transformers, and just things that I expect to see at the Hasbro event uh, regarding some of the other lines, and uh, some things I hope come out over the course of the weekend and the week, um, and it's pure speculation on my part. I've, uh, I don't keep up too closely with many other brands. In fact, I did a little bit of research before I uh, started recording, just to make sure I'm not out of my mind. And I already found one thing. I was like, I hope they make this. And it turns out they made it two years ago. But we'll get into that uh, in a little bit. So, uh, as I mentioned before, the Hasbro Toy Fair event usually covers, at least in the presentation portion upstairs, the beginning, covers their four major brands. It covers Transformers, which we'll get into hopefully in the next episode of this podcast. Um, Actually, maybe, might be one after this. Uh... Because there was a lot of news today, and I think I might record something for that. So yes, it covers Transformers, it covers Marvel, it covers My Little Pony, and it covers Star Wars. And uh, it used to cover, I feel like it used to cover G.I. Joe at one point, uh, back when they were making G.I. Joe movies. And currently, <laughs> it does not, because um, unfortunately, G.I. Joe seems to be a dead property. But there is always hope, there is always hope that we can see G.I. Joe... Uh, get resurrected here at Toy Fair 2018. I'm really hoping for that, actually. Um, I'm hoping for that along with some of the other uh, Hasbro-verse properties like Mask and Visionaries and ROM to see uh, anything that Hasbro is doing in the IDW comics make it into toy, into toy form would be nice to see. Let's talk about Marvel because, wow, there is a lot of Marvel stuff coming in terms of media. So between Fox, Sony, Disney, and yeah, I know Disney owns Fox now, but let's just go with what we know. We've got a Venom movie coming. We've got the Deadpool sequel coming. Black Panther toys are already out. Um, Usually toys that have just come out tend to be shown off at these events as well. So I expect to see at least the current wave of Black Panther, if not any subsequent subsequent waves. We've got uh, Avengers Infinity War coming. We've got Ant-Man and Wasp coming. And... Uh, I just saw the trailer for the second season of Jessica Jones, so there may be a tie-in to that as well. Um, of those, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, seeing some more of the Deadpool line. Uh, some of the uh, images of the Legends class stuff, which is the um, Legends, uh, Marvel Legends stuff, is uh, been posted online. I really like the Death Clock. Fi- uh, Death Clock. <laughs> Oh, man, wouldn't it be great to get Death Clock figures? Um, I'm sure they've made them already, haven't they? Tweet me if you already know the answer to that. That's at TFU underscore info. No, Death Lock uh, inspired a completely different metal song, Psychotron by Megadeth. Um, But, yeah, I really really dig the Death Lock figure, uh, and I don't usually buy Marvel um, Legends six-inch figures. I buy the three-and-three-quarter uh, figures and I only pick out particular ones. I don't. I don't go all out on those. So I'm hoping the three and three quarter inch line continues because I haven't seen a thing in any of these uh, movie lines that showed three and three quarter inch figures. Hopefully we'll see some of that. Hopefully we'll see maybe a continuation of the uh, the X Men Legends class figures uh, and uh, or more Netflix inspired ones. Uh, I certainly like to see a Luke Cage and a Iron Fist and and some of the other characters from the Marvel Netflix shows. And of course, there's my personal wish list, which I wish for every year as a Transformers fan. Uh, Three and three quarter inch circuit breaker, since Marvel does own the rights to that figure. Uh, Character, I should say. Alright, so aside from that, from the Star Wars side of things, I expect to see uh, figures for the uh, Han Solo movie. Uh, Solo, as it's called. Uh, And we'll see what comes out of that, but I imagine there'll be a Han, there'll be a Chewie. From watching the uh, 
the trailer, I'm sure there's a Woody Harrelson character figure. I'm sure there's um, that short little lady that's been in the last two movies. I thought I saw her in the uh, the trailer, so maybe she'll be in it. And uh, a few others, I'm sure. And I'm sure they'll do some classics and mix some other things into that. What's going to be interesting for Transformers fans um, is that in Japan, they're releasing a Star Wars crossover figure of the Millennium Falcon that transforms into Chewbacca and Han Solo. And it's different than the Star Wars crossover figure that came out that transforms into Han Solo and Chewbacca, the one that came out about 10 years ago. So that should be a fun uh, thing to see. And hopefully it's coming out here in the United States. And that should be about all I expect to see from Hasbro. There's going to be some fun stuff downstairs. We'll find uh, some stuff on if there's any particular Hasbro brand that you think I should cover that uh, you want to see pictures of that isn't served, shoot me a tweet at TFU underscore info. Email me at info at TFU dot info. Or um, hit me up on Facebook, TFU dot, no, excuse me, Facebook dot com slash TFU INFO. You know, last year when someone had mentioned to me that uh, Yokai Watch, which I know nothing about, um, no one covers that little section in the Hasbro showroom very often, so I went and took some photos of it, and uh, they seem to be pretty well received. So if there's anything that Hasbro does that you need me to find for for you, just uh, let me know. Moving on to not Hasbro stuff. Um, because I don't really collect a lot of non-Transformers stuff, but uh, I hope to see stuff. I like to know certain things just exist. I do collect certain characters and certain kind of things uh, otherwise, but I made a little bit of notes here just to see. And uh, the first thing I have is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles written down. And I was saying in my head, I really hope they do one day the um, versions of like the video game the arcade ninja turtles uh it's perfect for someone like uh, nika collectibles to do and in doing my research i found out that nika did it in 2016 at san diego comic-con and man do they go for a lot on ebay uh it's a great idea for a set really is but with the tmnt reboot coming uh be nice to see if there's anything coming out i guess from playmates to uh support that new series plus it's the 15th anniversary of the four kids version of tmnt and if you haven't watched a 2003 cartoon um i don't know exactly where you can find it but find it it is good it ran five or six seasons it ended with turtles in time every season was good everything was well written um this particular episode sticks out in my head that was like a tribute to jack kirby where donatello goes to this alternate universe that just looks like a Jack Kirby drawing come to life and uh, there's all sorts of weird stuff in there it's it's really cool and the show as a whole uh, was really well done kind of set the um, the tone for the current series and for the current comic and I feel like I don't know a lot about the original uh, Mirage Comics version of TMNT uh, the old black and white ones but uh, I feel like it was based more off of that than the original cartoon series, which was really heavily based on Transformers, the cartoon series. Um, and you're going to have to listen to Transformers University to find out why. But moving on from TMNT, um, you know, there should be some news from Nattel regarding Masters of the Universe. Um, maybe Thundercats? Who knows? You know, in in... In the wake of the success of the Netflix series, The Toys That Made Us, it's going to be interesting to see which brands try to get revitalized at Toy Fair in 2018. So you may see Thundercats. Um, and then, you know, going back to Playmates, you may see more Voltron. Uh, the Legends uh, classic Voltron. Is it Legendary? Uh, oh, too many words there. Too similar in this, huh? The Legendary Voltron, uh, Legendary Defender, and then Classic Voltron uh, is out now. And that looks pretty neat. And I don't know if they're going to expand on that line, but I hope they do. And then Funko. I'm not a Pops guy, but uh, I do like their Disney Afternoon 4-inch uh, action figures, which seem to scale very well with the 3 and 3 quarter inch uh, G.I. Joe, Star Wars, Marvel kind of figures. Uh, I haven't purchased any of them yet. I plan on it eventually. Uh, but uh, I hope they do more of those. 
And, you know, you know, Nika could do some more three and three quarter inch figures as well. I'm not a big fan of those. I love their character choices. I don't like the waists on those toys. Uh, they don't have the O-ring like a G.I. Joe. They don't have the ball joints like the Marvel ones. They have those old style Star Wars like wedge in the middle of the crotch that just looks weird. Uh, looks like um, looks like old Playmobil figures and just it doesn't do it for me. So I tend to go, wow, that's neat. But if the waist was different, I would buy it. You know, Super 7 should be doing some more three and three quarter inch figures while we're on the subject. Uh, again, same thing. They have that those waists that I'm not into, but again, great character choices. Do those He-Man three and three quarters, which is a little closer to home for me. So you know, one day I might pick some of those up. Um, and they got the muscle license. Uh, I would really like if they did something. And, and wow, we're coming up on the 15th anniversary of the uh, American version of Kanikuman Ultimate Muscle, uh, and that was that was a fun show. Um, I really liked that show. So it maybe Super Seven does something for that. That would be neat. And then, of course, you know, there's other comic properties that, you know, we'll probably see maybe from McFarlane, uh, some more Walking Dead stuff, maybe something for Invincible now that the, sh uh, the comic is wrapping up. And, you know, I will always hold out hope that somebody, somebody will pay Valiant, to, Valiant Comics to license their characters and do a toy line. Uh, those characters are, are just ripe to be done. There's a lot of repaint possibility in a lot of those uh, characters just in doing modern version classic version acclaimed comics version you can pretty much get three characters out of every mold and yeah that's my uh that's my pie in the sky hope at, uh every year toy fair and every year it doesn't happen but that's cool uh the great thing is toy fair does happen every year and once again i will be at the hasbro event february 17th that's saturday coming up so please swing into our twitter account tfu underscore info Facebook at facebook.com slash tfuinfo on Instagram at tfu.info and of course you can email me info at tfu.info and of course search tfu.info on YouTube uh, and there will be some video coming out of this uh, event maybe not that day but certainly uh, beginning of next week so that will wrap up this off topic edition of tfu news and views don't forget if you want to help out the site tfu.info slash Amazon. You know what it does if you've been listening. And I'm not going to explain it now. But until next time, see ya.